Welcome back, everybody. The first American woman in space, Sally Ride. She broke so many barriers, made her dreams come true. And you know, this afternoon, you can learn a lot more about her during an event at Warwick's. They're going to talk about a children's book. It's called She Persisted. Sally Ride, part of a very cool series. Co-authors would be Chelsea Clinton and this wonderful lady right here, Atia Abawi. Good morning to you, Atia. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being on. So this is a book in the series of She Persisted books that are for children. And how did Sally Ride become a subject of this? Well, Sally Ride was actually a big figure in Chelsea's life as well growing up, um, primarily because she was the first American woman to make it to space. Um, and she has an amazing quote that, uh, that I think that a lot of people can relate to, that you can't be what you can't see. So Sally herself never dreamt of becoming an astronaut because when she was a young girl, there were no female astronauts. So it was never part of her plan. Um, and then suddenly one day, NASA decided that they were going to give women a chance and she decided to apply and suddenly she had this new dream. Yeah, and now we hear about this a lot with women being able to fly out into outer space. So she certainly uh, set the path, quite an incredible one. And she has a local favorite, Atia, as I'm sure you know. She went to UC San Diego, spent a lot of her life, her final years in La Jolla. So many accomplishments. Uh, what stood out the most to you about what she was able to do in her lifetime? I think what, what inspires me about Sally was the fact that she didn't limit herself to just one dream. Um, since she was a young girl, she knew what she wanted. Uh, she, her very first word was no, so she could let the people around her know <laughs> what she wanted. Um, she actually dreamt of becoming a tennis player. She had, as I mentioned, no idea of becoming an astronaut and she worked really hard on it until she realized one day that that wasn't her passion. And I think uh, one thing that I, take from Sally is that dreams can change and that's absolutely fine. And also you can have more than one dream. And I think that's something that we should let our children know, uh, the people around us know, and no matter how old you get, you know, your dreams can change and that's great. Yeah, it, it evolves as we learn and grow. And uh, Atiyah, I have to say your life is quite remarkable. A foreign correspondent, you were stationed in Kabul, <laughs> Afghanistan for five years. So how did you end up working on children's books and with Chelsea Clinton too? Well, that was the thing. My dream growing up was always to become a journalist, to go overseas, to become a foreign correspondent. And I was so lucky that I was able to achieve that dream. Um, and then, you know, covering wars, covering, you know, the trauma of war, my dream started to change a bit. And I had this amazing opportunities to start writing books uh, through Penguin uh, Kids, uh, Philomel. And that eventually led to my editor, who was also Chelsea's editor, looking for someone to write about uh, these amazing women. And I was luckily chosen as one of those authors, and I got to choose Sally Ride. And I was very excited to work alongside Chelsea on this project, and not just Chelsea herself. What was amazing about this was that Chelsea brought in all these female authors. We have one book releasing every month about an amazing woman uh, from our history. And I've befriended these authors. So we call ourselves the persisterhood and we <laughs> ask everyone to join us in this persisterhood so we can help lift each other up. Such a special message. Why is it so important that children hear about this being, uh, you know, obviously keeping that persistence is so important. Um, why, why do you want to make sure kids hear that at an early age? I think it's really important because I know that there were some people who mentioned it to us growing up, but not enough. Um, even when you look at Sally, there weren't enough people telling her she could do it. Luckily, she ignored a lot of people who told her she couldn't do it. She told They told her that, you know, science wasn't for women. And she decided, no, you know what? I love science. So she continued on her path and educating herself and uh, herself and becoming a physicist. And, you know, I remember being young and wanting to be an astronaut and being told, you know, you can't do it. You're, you know, you're ethnic, you're a woman. The path is too hard, even if you want to try. And that's not the right message to send to children, especially because as I've learned in life, as Sally learned in life, and as I'm sure you've learned in life, as long as you keep persisting, you can make your dreams come true, no matter what those dreams are.
Yeah, I'm, I definitely understand what you're saying. And of course, uh, this event today, it's at Warwick, so it'll be virtual 4 p.m. And I just signed up, so I'll see you there too, because uh, I think it's such a special thing you were able to do and share this important message. So we appreciate it, Atia. And you speak Farsi, so do I. And I want to say, Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll see you at 4 o'clock at the Warwick's virtual event. Thank you so much. Thank you.